Hello guys, how are you guys doing man? Guys, I was having that subsequent video uh, when I started the journey from Brazil all the way to uh, United States. So I was I was in uh, Dallas when I go to I ended at when I go to uh, Nico Klein. So Nico Klein is where you are going to take your boat to the yeah to the base of the forest. So when you get to the forest, so when you get to the base of the forest by the ship, there's not a ship, it's a boat. By the boat, when you get there, there's uh, another small small cars. It's called Keke or it's a moto that will come and pick you up. It's for free. You don't have to pay anything. I don't know if now they are paying it or not. But you don't need to pay anything. When they pick you up, what they're going to do is they are going to uh, take you to where your agent will come and pick you up. So when you find your agent or when you get an agent, if you don't have agent, when you get there, you you will get one. So when you get there and when you get it, uh, you find your agent, and that's where your agent is going to take you to. Uh, you're going to take you through the forest, and within the forest, these are the things I went with. You are going to buy your boots, that's a Wellington boots, with your long socks. You're going to buy your uh, mosquito nets. You're going to buy your tents. You're going to buy uh, repellent. And you're going to buy some. Uh, is it chemical? It's a chemical that you can put it uh, around your net so that it will take uh, it bad animals. It will uh, let them go away. They will not. The smell will not let them. Come, uh, they will not come closer to you. So that is what I did. And before I I started it. Uh, I went with uh, ultimate, anything that is ultimate, like for body pains, and also uh, went with any uh, painkiller or pain pain release medications. So it really helps because uh, also you have. Uh, I went with uh, mosquito uh, stomach pain and other thing because you know you're going to take eat. Some some things that maybe it's not good for your stomach, and you're going to fall sick. So you have to. I prepared myself before going, and and when I went there, I did not even use them, but it really helped the other people because a lot of people were falling sick and other things because the water that I uh, I would be drinking or water that I, uh, they were drinking were no good because man. For me, my body is used to all those things. Although I don't take those, I don't drink those those things. But because I have been uh, used to those things, I've been uh, the body is resistant to some, uh, certain things. Uh, I was able to just, you know, be okay with that. But when you talk to, uh, when you talk about the uh, Venezuelans and uh, people from other countries, especially the white people, they are unable to uh, to do that because they are not used to those uh, going to bushes and other things. For me, you know, when I was in Africa, I go to bush, you know, I go to farm. So I was used to those things, but for them, they are not used to that. So they were falling sick and, you know, the med medication that I went with was helping them a lot. So that's what I did. And when we started Jenny, I got an uh, uh, agent. That that guy took me through the forest. When you go to uh, on my YouTube channel, you can see some of my videos in there. And he said he don't have problem in showing him. So uh, I posted him, and we're all going. So guys, 
in the forest I spend I supposed to spend uh, one week in the forest but I spend uh, three days in the forest because why I spend four days in the forest so fast because I was walk, uh, walking day and night I left I left I left my agent behind I left my agent behind and I took about 16 people and we are all Africans people from Angola people from uh, Cameroon people from Senegal and people from Ghana it's not that I I, 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 I gathered them and I went with them no that is not what I do my I was traveling and I on the way going uh, I, 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 I see them on the way so I saw them on the way and I went with them because we are all Africans and some of them needed help some, some of them their money is finished so I have the money that I have with, I have with me I have to share with them so that we can get to the destination because our goal is the same we are going to the same destination so if I get there and later on they couldn't come within me I won't feel good if I come if I go and they will, uh, they come late and by the time they will come something has happened to them and I have means to help them and I couldn't help them I won't feel good so what I did is I did everything possible to help them so that we all will achieve the same goal. And in the forest, the only thing that we were eating was biscuit and drinks. If you have biscuit and drinks, it's going to save your life. Because that's the only thing, that's the only food that you can go with because it's less heavier. But if you go with something that is heavier, my brother, my sister, you're going to throw everything away so I went with biscuits and drinks because within your bag how are you going to walk in the forest within the bag your bag is going to be heavy and you will end up dispatching your things you end up throwing things away so a lot of even ladies you can see them walking without brazier because they are they are feeling uncomfortable men are walking without panties without boxes you know why the more you are walking, the more the pants, uh, the pants and the uh, uh, and your boxes are, you know, making marks on the, on your on your body. By the time you realize you are you are getting hurt, you can't even walk. So you have to throw all those things away and go almost naked. That's how the forest is, and it's muddy, very rough, raining. So I very lucky I went with uh, raincoat so it helped me a lot a lot of people were asking me so how were you able to film all the way from the start of the journey to the end of the journey inside the forest I was having a power bank a power bank and the power bank was so strong to the standard when you charge it for 24 hours, it can take you three days to four days to charge your phone straight. So it, it, it can charge almost about two phones for two days. But if it is one phone, it can charge it for three days, uh, three days or four days. And because I wanted to just finish my journey early, I left my agent behind and I was walking in the forest with a torchlight. So, very lucky, I also went with my torchlight. And the torchlight helped me a lot to finish the journey so faster. So, we walk all the way. You know, a lot of people were falling sick. Your, your feet is going to get rotten because you're going to walk in the, in the rain, in the muddy and you get somewhere it's on the mountains you see that you can walk there like like two uh three hours and your body is going to dry and by the time you realize it's raining again 
So that's for that's how it is. So I went through this heavy and thick and tedious and I was able to pass through successfully to the Panama border. So guys, I'll come again to the uh, from Panama border and that's where the dangerous part is. So I'll come again. So don't worry guys, subscribe and the next video will be at Panama border. And the Panama border, that's where you see people dying. So I'll come. Did I see anyone dying or not? I'll come there. So guys, let's go.